Hopefully you now have a basic understanding of the features and functions of an online sales funnel. In this lecture, we will go over various examples of sales funnels that you can set up for your business using your YouTube videos. First, let's take a look at a simple three-step evergreen funnel. Evergreen means that it will continue generating traffic over time without any additional work or cost. You can start by uploading one of the marketing video types that we discussed in the previous video to your YouTube channel. The video should have a clear call to action, encouraging viewers to click a link to your product sales or landing page. The sales page should have excellent copywriting, which convinces the visitor to make a purchase. Let's take a look at one of the evergreen funnels I have set up for one of my products. One of my YouTube channels is called Martial Art Lifestyle. This is where I create and post marketing videos for my martial arts course, apparel, and other accessories. To help promote one of my t-shirt designs, I created a marketing video showing models wearing the shirt. In the video description, there's a call to action asking viewers to go to the t-shirt sales page. When they click the link, they'll be taken directly to the product listing. Here's where they can view the t-shirt sizes, colors, and read copywriting on other features and benefits. If the sales page copywriting does its job, a percentage of the viewers will click to add it to their cart, then make a purchase. Another funnel you could build could be a simple four-step funnel using a free lead magnet. A lead magnet is a freebie that a viewer can receive by signing up on your website. This could include things like a free ebook, PDF guide, or infographic that they can download. You could have a YouTube video that informs the viewer about your lead magnet using a call to action. They can then click to your website and provide you with their email address in exchange for the free offer. Either through email or the free offer itself, you can inform the viewer about your actual product. They can then be sent to your product sales page and finally to making a purchase. Let's take a look at one of the funnels that I've set up using this method. On my Quantum Courses YouTube channel, I have a video showing people how to order products from manufacturers. To order inventory, you'll typically have to send a series of emails to the supplier. To make life easier, I offer my viewers free email templates that they can use to order their inventory. From the video description, they can click the link here to be taken directly to the free email templates. Inside of this lead magnet, I also inform the viewer that I have a course available showing the whole process. I know that people that are interested in the email templates would also love to have a course on the subject. So when they click the call to action for the course, they'll be taken directly to the course landing page. Here's where they can read more about the course and what they'll be learning. This page contains several call to actions, enticing a percentage of the people to click the buy button. From here, they can fill out their information and make the final purchase. You could also create a simple funnel using a free preview of your product. For instance, if your product happens to be a 500 page ebook on your topic, you could offer the first 50 pages for free to readers. The first step of the funnel could be one of the marketing videos on your YouTube channel. This can have a call to action that informs viewers that they can get a free preview of your product on your website. With the free preview, you should collect their email address as well as provide a link to the full product inside of the free preview. People that are interested in learning more can be sent to the full product sales page, which then leads them to making a purchase. Let's check out an example using one of my products. Here's a YouTube promotional video that I created for my stock trading masterclass. Since this channel is part of the YouTube Partner Program, I was able to create a card that will send people directly to my website. When viewers click this card here, they'll be taken directly to the course description page. For visitors that are still unsure about purchasing, they can enroll in a free preview of the course. Offering a free preview of your product can show your visitors the value that your product can provide. At the end of your free preview, you also want to have a call to action asking them to enroll in the full version. A percentage of these people will take you up on your offer and make a purchase for the full product. Now let's go over an example of how I use YouTube videos to market my video service business. This is a local service where I provide video production such as filming interviews or company events. To start, I have a video production training posted on my YouTube channel. This includes a call to action which sends people to my website to learn more about my services. On my video services website, I have a portfolio of unlisted YouTube videos that demonstrate my previous work. The videos in my portfolio include a call to action asking viewers to schedule a free 30 minute meeting to discuss their project. The meeting then leads to the close in which I'm hired and paid to perform the service. Let's take a look at this funnel now.
So here's a YouTube video that I posted on various video marketing strategies for local companies. In the video description, I have a call to action asking viewers to go to my website to view my portfolio. When they click this link, they'll be taken directly to the website that I have set up for this service. On the website, they can learn more about the services I offer and view my portfolio by clicking the link in the top menu or by clicking the images down at the bottom of my homepage. If you have a service business, having a portfolio or free previews of your work will help the customer make a purchasing decision. When viewers click on an image, they'll be taken directly to my portfolio, which is actually a playlist of unlisted YouTube videos. They can then click the videos in my portfolio to view some of my previous work. In the descriptions of my portfolio videos, there's another call to action asking viewers to click the link to schedule a meeting about their project. When they click the link, they'll be taken directly to a page where they can schedule a meeting with me for a 30 minute consultation. During the consultation, I can learn all the details about their project, provide an estimated price, and finally close the deal and make the sale. If the evergreen methods are moving too slowly, you could also implement a paid ad strategy in your funnel. You can start by creating a targeted ad campaign for your YouTube video, which includes a call to action for viewers to visit your website. When viewers click the video ad, they can be taken to either a free lead magnet, product preview, or directly to your product sales page. Your lead magnet or product preview should send people to your sales page, and your sales page should have good copywriting to entice viewers to make the actual purchase. We will be going over creating targeted paid ad campaigns in an upcoming video. The options for creating online sales funnels is unlimited, and you should work to develop a funnel type that works best for your particular product or service. Start with one of the marketing video types that we discussed in the previous lecture, and add two to three funnel steps with a call to action for each to get viewers to the purchasing stage.